Hi everyone, Carl here from Apt. Today we're going to tackle how to hook up a soundbar to your TV using an optical cable. If you're going to be using an HDMI cable, make sure to check out our other video on hooking up to a soundbar with an HDMI cable. First things first, if you're going to use an optical cable, you need to hook up your other components like your cable box or your Blu-ray player uh, directly to the back of the TV. This is going to make testing your soundbar with all of your equipment a whole lot easier. Now let's get started. Here's what the end of an optical cable looks like so you know what I'm talking about. The manufacturer will oftentimes provide this with the soundbar, and it's important to remember that there are these tiny little plastic covers on the end of the cable, on each end of the cable, that need to be removed before you make the connection. So now that you know what the cable looks like, it should make the plugs a lot easier to find on the soundbar and the TV. So from here, you're going to locate the optical output on the back of your TV, which is normally labeled optical out or audio out, and plug one end of the cable in. There's only one way that the cable is going to fit correctly, so make sure you match up the plug the correct way, and you generally have to give it a little push to make sure it snaps into place. You'll, you'll feel it lock into place once you, once you push it fairly hard. Once that's in, you can plug the other end into your soundbar's optical connection, which is generally labeled audio input or optical input, and it'll look just like the plug that was on your TV. Once that's connected, make sure to plug in your soundbar's power cord and turn the power on for both units. From here, you'll have to go into your TV's menu system to the audio or sound settings, and you'll typically see an option to turn off the TV's speakers and send the sound through that optical output. Here we're showing you on a Samsung TV, but the menu may look a little different on your set, so make sure to consult your instruction manual, or if you purchased either of the products from App, do you actually get lifetime technical support, so feel free to call into our service department, and they can actually help you walk, through, uh, walk you through these steps as well. And we also have installation available by an App installer for our local customers if the job winds up just being a little too tough to tackle yourself. Next, you'll want to make sure you select the correct input on your soundbar. There's normally going to be a button on the soundbar's remote or on the soundbar itself that says something along the lines of source or input that you're going to press until you see the correct input show up on the display of the soundbar. In this case, we're going to look for the input that's called optical, or it may be an abbreviation like OPT, something like that. Now, once you have this done, you should be able to hear the sound coming out of the soundbar by raising the volume. In some cases, you'll be able to use the TV's remote control for moving the volume up and down, which normally requires some simple programming. So again, if that's the case, if you wanted to use your TV's remote, you may need to consult your instruction manual again to find out how to, how to make those talk to one another. If your soundbar isn't compatible with your TV's remote, remember most soundbars come with their own remotes, so you'll still have full control over the volume. And that's really all there is to it. It's a pretty simple process, it doesn't require too many steps, and it dramatically improves the whole TV experience. Thanks for watching, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all of our how-to videos and learn about all the other cool products that we carry here at Apt.